So you think you have what it takes to be a scav? Why? Because you saw a battlefield and you made it out alive with some jumper cables, a med kit, and a box of pretzels. Have you ever fired a gun before? Have you ever watched the life fade from a man's eyes? Have you ever killed someone just because dead men don't radio for backup? You may have grown accustomed to the smell of gunpowder and motor oil, but what about the smell of death? Cyborgs were people once. They still have a few parts left that rot. Are you prepared to hide under a mountain of rotting corpses for hours? Because that might be what it takes to get out with your skin. Do you have nerves of steel? Can you keep calm, think rationally, when a squad of troopers or a 20 foot tall steel death machine is suddenly bearing down on you? Can you stand as still as a statue for minutes while barely breathing? Even after you lose your fear of killing and your fear of death, you still have one more choice that you will have to make. If you're in a situation where you have to pick a side, who will you choose? Europa? They're the most human of the three factions, but they also have a bit of a thing for draping naked bodies on their tanks. Also, they employ all of the most ruthless and unpredictable mercenaries imaginable. Eurasia is just run by AI at this point. Europa ultimately is as well, but Eurasian troops are little better than targeting computers attached to vestigial sacks of flesh. They're more predictable than Europa, but they'll also gun you down the second you're no longer useful to them. Euruska I can't tell you much about, mostly because most of them don't even seem to speak English. They're supposed to be allies with Eurasia, but sometimes I think they fight in the war just for the fun of it. They'll gun down anyone who gets in their way. And you better hope that if you get caught out in the open in Euruskan territory, that they just shoot you because they have something called a stalker, a terrifying bulletproof monstrosity that never stops hunting you. Kid, if you want to see the sunrise, you better be good at holding your breath.